Okay then, hello everybody, good evening. Welcome back to Team Prom Racing. Welcome to an empty garage. <laughs> That's right, it's gone. It's not here. I can wander around and time for me to hit my head on bits of aero. I've got loads of space. So what's going on? The car's gone. So let's backtrack a little bit, tell you a little bit about what's gone on, what's happening. The car is up at Badger 5. Last week, Sunday, we got the engine in. Engine in, engine in, engine in, everything hooked up. The legend that is Alex travelled two hours, 100 miles down from where he lives to come and be here to help us wire in the power steering. So that is the Ibiza power steering pump we fitted. A lot of people run like the A-Class or the Astra pumps. This is technically better. Is it going to be better? Who knows? We're going to see. Technically better. So it runs a vehicle speed signal, it runs a steering angle sensor, and it runs an RPM signal. And the idea being it's not drawing the full amperage all the time. It's only drawing what it needs to tick over when you're going in a straight line, put some lock in, it applies more. Knows the steering angle, knows the rate of change, knows the speed of the vehicle, and that's how it works. So, Alex came down, long journey, got here, 8 a.m. Sunday morning. Alex spent the morning wiring up whilst I finished off bits and bobs on the engine, getting the gearbox filled up with fluid, all that kind of stuff. Mid-afternoon, we were ready to turn the key. Right, I've not filmed anything, I'll do a little bit before this. It's all ready to go. We're going to crank it over, plug in the injectors, and then uh, see if it starts. We'll do it, see what it does. Yeah. We are out here, aren't we? Yeah. See what happens. Yeah. Right. Over a bar of oil pressure on cranking. My slave battery is dead, so we've just got to hope the little battery holds up. Check the oil level, plug the injectors in, turn the key. That's recording. Just plug the injectors in there. Thanks. Right, shall we? Yeah, why not? Keep ourselves. fluffy hair but uh, it's running 1A3 fired up brand new engine excuse the state of it it's a right mess here but she's running we've got Alex on the laptop at the moment don't know what else to say it's running sounds sweet it's letting you warm up <sighs> three weeks we're going racing so, fired up, running, extremely happy, <laughs> sounds phenomenal, um, just sounds angry, kind of barks and jumps into life, over the moon with that. Turn the key, engine's running great, but the steering's not working. Ignition on, start the engine, gets the RPM signal, the pump jumps into life, but super heavy, just, just nothing there. Not working, um, got a bit dejected with it, Alex headed home about 8.30 Sunday night, 12 and a half hour shift on the car. Couldn't figure it out. Alex chatted to a load of people Monday during the day. 6 p.m. Monday night, I get a phone call. Coming down. I was like, Jesus Christ, man. Alex drives down again, another 100 miles, another two hour trip down. We tried a couple of things. We fired the car up a few times. Got to about 10 o'clock, and where I live, it's just not on running a car like that that late at night. So, um, yeah, we had to abort. Tuesday night came. Big thanks to AP for the trailer, picked it up from his house, brought it back, got the car on the trailer. Right, you don't know what's going on, 
first time I'm going to attempt driving it at all. It's going on the trailer, it's off to Badger 5. Tuesday night, cars on the trailer, we are off to Badger 5. I need to say a massive thanks to a bunch of people, really. Um, so we've got Balash of Ignitron, we've got, obviously, Alex and the boys at Badger 5. Also, Carl Asplin, who was one of the first people to do this Ibiza pump conversion into this chassis of car, so he's done it on his TT. Carl's been, uh, he's been a bit of a legend, disconnecting various sensors and stuff to try and work out where we're going and why our setup is not working quite as well as his did. It's probably something to do with going into like a non-native ME 7.5 car with our car being a conversion. But with help from those guys, I think it's going to be figured out. Anyway, over to me. Tuesday night, the car is going to Badger 5, which is the best place for it, where the guys can diagnose what's going on and hopefully get us working in time for the dyno, which is on Sunday. So that's two days from when you're watching this now. Tune in next week to find out how that goes. Right, I am reasonably sure you can't see me. Any better? I mean, maybe not seeing me is a good thing. Who knows? It is 21.17 on Tuesday night. The car is on the trailer behind me, and I'm just pulling up a Badger 5. Alex is, is beyond a legend. Sunday came down at 8am. Two hour drive for him. Spent 12 and a half hours working on the car and unfortunately we couldn't get the power steering to work. We think, oh, we don't know exactly what's wrong. Every, every component part adds up and appears to be working but the system isn't currently working. We had a few ideas Monday, finished work at 6 Monday and drove another two hours to my house 100 miles each way. By 10 o'clock it was getting too late to fire the car up. We couldn't test it, we hadn't got anywhere. So here I am, bring it up, I'm going to leave it with the boys for a couple of days, come back on Sunday to dyno it. Shut up, seatbelt. Yeah, Badger 5, legends, Alex in particular. Thanks, mate. It's me out, I'm tired. Come back in. Hello. Hey. We're going to get Alex in it. Right, there we go. We've got some sort of thumbnail shot. What are we going to do? Right, so um, here we are. We're at Badger 5. Car's back in its spiritual home. It is very dark outside because it's 10 o'clock at night. But three weeks till we race. Um, as I've just said, Alex has put in some stupid hours coming down to mine, driving 100 miles each way, trying to get this working. There's only one place it should be, really, to work out what's going on and get it all sorted and up and running, and that's here. So, engine is running. Engine sounds amazing, as you've just seen a couple of minutes ago. I'm here with Alex, who avoids cameras. But, three weeks till we're racing. This is going on the dyno Sunday. Make sure you tune in next week to see what our new Litco Turbo does. Just loaded it on the trailer. Really impressed with how the Helix clutch feels. Not grabby, 
not heavy pedal, not noisy, kind of everything you want. Fingers crossed, holds the power, got no real concerns there. So uh, yeah, big thumbs up on that one. It's 10 o'clock, I've got a 100 mile drive home. Tune in next week when this will be in the dyno. Have fun, like, share, subscribe. See you next week. Yeah. <laughs>